My name is Titi Dangarembwa. I'm a writer and a filmmaker, and I live in Harare, Zimbabwe. That's in Southern Africa. I grew up partly in Dover, partly in London, and then also in Zimbabwe. My name is Nadine Aisha Jasset, and I'm a poet and writer, and I live in Edinburgh. As you can maybe tell from my accent, I grew up in Yorkshire and I've been in Scotland for eight years. My family are split across the globe with my mum's family being in Yorkshire and my dad's family being in Zimbabwe. Most of my work has been about African women, the black women's experience, because when I was growing up, I didn't get to read many texts about that, so I focused on that. Right now, I'm moving away from that a little bit, and I'm venturing into young adult dystopian speculative fiction, and that's fun. One of the big themes of the work that I create is around voice and storytelling, particularly women's stories and telling stories of personal experiences that make you feel quite voiceless. I'm really influenced by what I see happening around me and coming from Zimbabwe, which is in a rather troubled state at the moment, there's plenty of material to feed my imagination from what I see around me. I'm definitely influenced by ideas around voice and identity and telling our own stories. Um, definitely draw on what's around me as well and in particular for me a lot of that is around family too and family storytelling. Um, but you never know when the inspiration is going to strike. So I had an idea that I thought was an absolutely crazy idea and was never going to happen. And that idea was to trace the journey taken by Chuma and Susie who were attendants to um, Livingston, the explorer. After he died, they carried his body back from Zambia all the way to the coast in Tanzania. When Siobhan told me what Sitsi's idea was around tracing Susie and Tumor's journey, carrying Livingston's body, in true poet fashion, I started immediately thinking about the symbolism and what it meant to, to carry a body. And for me, so much of wanting to go back to Zimbabwe, to where my father's family from, was about tracing the ancestry of the women in my family and the bodies that I carry within me, but also the stories that I carry within me. And it raised this question of, Am I carrying the stories or are the stories carrying me? Um, so I'm excited to see how we work together and frankly honoured uh, and really looking forward to our time together. And for me the interesting part of it is to try to build personalities around the two people who bore the body, Susie and Chuma. We all know about Livingston, but who were these people? And I'm hoping maybe I'll be able to trace some of their descendants. You know, it's just so open and um, I'm just looking forward to it. I think I'm really excited about us working together. I'm really excited about how even in the, um, the beginning stages where we've been talking about the planning, it's been like our creative brains have been talking to each other almost um, and things have been unfolding. We've been finding eerie parallels as well between our questions um, and, and where we're wanting to go. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and I feel like it's an, a possibility and an opening for expansion for us to, to work together, to journey together, to investigate together. Um, and I, I think that something great is gonna come even just from the experience of just being together and sharing in this. Um, yeah, and I'm just so excited to have been asked to participate all the way down in Zimbabwe. I, I really don't know why, but it's just such an honor. And to work with people who are from somewhere else in the world like Nadine, but who have a connection to Zimbabwe, it just feels as though it's going to be a really rich experience and it's, I'm sure it's going to be fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sitsi's novel Nervous Conditions is a seminal text so it was kind of hard not to know you and when I got the email and saw your name I was like, oh my god, you know, it was just one of those moments. Um, and yeah, so there's, there's definitely that excitement because, you know, you are a... There were, you know, in an event we went to earlier, they were talking about the, the godmothers and the, the leaders of women's writing, and you are within that, you know? So I, I'm very excited about that. But also I just think from one creative to another to share our creativity in this way. Um, and exactly as you say, coming from where we're coming from, sharing what we're sharing, there's something so beautiful in that, that the Book Festival wants to invest in artists sharing and creating um, together in these ways. 
And I feel it's absolutely amazing that already we've struck up this connection. Mm. And you've lived in this part of the world all your life. I've been based in Zimbabwe for most of my life. And yet already yeah. there's just so much resonance. And I'm sure that over the course of the trip, it's just going to expand and produce some really interesting products. Traveling through Africa and probably not on the beaten track because when they, Susie and Chuma transported Livingston's body, there weren't any roads as we know them today. And we want to try and go as close to the original track as possible. So yes, but adventure is always frightening. That's what makes it so exciting. We, we're coming to a new era in the world. Everybody's talking about <laughs> inclusion and this kind of thing. So for me, this putting down the body at the end of a trail is something that I hope I am going to experience when I get to the end of the trail. And uh, we want to then circle back again. And I'm hoping that I will experience renewal through that circling back, having kind of metaphorically put this burden down. That's what I'm hoping for. So I think one thing that I'm hoping to get out of this experience is just the sense of journey and adventure that we're going together and connection that we've already found through creativity. Um, but what's been interesting about our planning together is that actually as we've been planning what we're doing we've both felt this sense of goosebumps coming because I think actually there's something that's incredibly personally resonant for both of us with what we're doing with this journey. And so what I'm hopeful is if you if you follow something that feels that resonance, that even here in Edinburgh, months before it happens, is giving you goosebumps, then what is going to come out of that, whether it's for you personally or professionally, but mainly I'm thinking personally, what is going to come out of that, it could be life-changing.